Hi everyone, this is Ada. Today I'm doing a review on my Neverfull Epi leather bag. I've had a few people asking for it on this bag, the Neverfull, and also on a wallet, and more about the wear and tear of Epi leather. Now, I personally love Epi leather, and if you have a look, I have quite a few bags or quite a few pieces. My latest one, which I adore, is my Alma. And then I have my Brea, or Brea, my Noe, and a couple of items that my husband has, the Zippy wallet in Epi and his card holder. Now I've had this bag, I bought it in Sydney, I live in Brisbane, I've had this bag for about a year. I took a copy of the receipt just so I could tell everyone when I bought it. And I bought it in September of last year, so 2014. And it is the Neverfull MM Epi in Indigo, and it cost me 2360 And I'm just a believer in Epi leather because it is such a versatile, hard-wearing leather. Now, if you're a person that loves soft leather, this is not the leather for you. But the reason I love it is it fits so well in my lifestyle. It, you just can't, it does not look bad. Okay, I do have one spot here, I'll just show you. Where is it? There. It sort of looks like a crease. That was my issue. I actually walked into a brick wall and scraped it. Um, but other than that, the leather is so hard wearing. And I believe this is the first leather by Louis Vuitton. It came out in the 18, uh, 18, 1985, so the mid 80s. And it still wouldn't be around if there was issues. I find it very hard wearing and I find it um, just so versatile. I mean, everyone knows the Neverfull is a great bag. And I'd have to say, I probably prefer the Epi bag other my, over my other canvas Neverfull due to the fact that to me, this is understated. It is leather and it is so versatile. So what I do, and I could probably put some leather conditioner on that and it would improve the look of that. But what I do is I just wipe them down every now and then, and not that often, but what I do is I get the fragrance-free baby wipes. Now, I did speak to the lady in Louis Vuitton and she said, don't do that, but that's what I do. She said, just some water on a cloth, which is what you can do as well. Because you really don't need to do much to this bag. And that's what I love about Epi. It doesn't, someone asked me recently whether it peeled. It doesn't peel. I mean, I think with four Epi, um, items or bags i would be you know i'd be hard pushed to to um say a bad thing about it because i think it is so practical and the inside is obviously a lot more um luxurious with the microfiber probably the only thing i'd say is that probably gets a bit more dirty but it is a darker color so yes i i really love epi i could recommend it i think you know and i the other thing with this bag is i have worried a couple of times because i don't baby this bag and i dump a lot of things in here so a water bottle for work have magazines because i'm such a fashion lover i I've, I've had two or three magazines and um a book in here at the one time and as my husband, he can't believe what I put in this bag. So the only thing I was really worried about with this bag is the handles and how they'd handle it. But honestly, I probably use this bag two or three times a week. I do change my bags a lot, but this one does get pretty much, um, you know, it doesn't get babied and I do carry it for work. So if you're thinking about buying an epi leather bag, I would say, yes, yes, yes. Just look at your colors. Uh, this is a really good color because it goes with most things. I know, like I love the yellows, I like the reds, I like the oranges, but I find this one fits in with my wardrobe and my lifestyle. So yes, yes to Epi Leather. So don't forget everyone, Ada Love Style. See you again next time. Bye. Don't forget everyone, Ada Love Style.